Birds are among the more conspicuous species on Earth, allowing us the opportunity to closely observe their feeding habits, which at times rank among the strangest and most disturbing among animals. In this fascinating and at times unsettling account, we will look at truly aberrant bird feeding techniques and methods of hunting that may fascinate, shock, and in some cases, horrify us. The Greater Honey Guide is a resident breeder in sub-Saharan Africa. This bird primarily feeds on the contents of bee colonies. It might sound ordinary, but the way it gets to them is absolutely brilliant. First, it attracts a honey hunter's attention with wavering and chattering notes. Then it flies away and guides the honey hunters to an occupied bee nest. It then stops nearby the nest and observes the honey hunters doing a final search. If deemed suitable, these honey hunters harvest honey from the bee colony. After harvesting is complete, the bird then approaches the nest and eat what is left. Found in swamps and mangroves of the Amazon and the Orinoco basins in South America, the Hoatzin is truly one of the strangest birds on this planet. Not only the chicks born with two claws on each wing to scramble around tree branches without falling into the water, their diet is just as weird. They are known for eating the leaves of the plants that grow in the marshy and riverine habitats where they live. This is possible because of their strange digestive system amongst birds. Hoatzins host special bacteria in the front part of the gut that break down and ferment the vegetable material they consume, much as cattle and other ruminants do. Because of aromatic compounds in the leaves they consume in the bacterial fermentation, this bird has manure-like odor, earning it the nickname stink bird by the locals. Related to gulls and terns, but resembling a sea-going toucan, the black skimmers are the only bird species with a lower bill longer than the top, extending up to three inches past the top mandible. The bizarre jaw allows the skimmer to pursue an even stranger feeding technique. It would fly at speeds of over 40 kilometers per hour and drag its grooved lower mandible in the water. This bird would snap its mouth shut and swoop upward whenever a small fish is encountered in this manner. The black skimmers often hunt in pairs and must maneuver constantly to avoid obstacles in the water. In fact, the bird's eye view in this case would resemble the most extreme action film. Additionally, flying at such speed exposes these birds to numerous risks and dangers. On occasions, a skimmer's lowered bill may strike submerged driftwood and result in a very serious injury. Despite of looking like a typical wading bird, a black heron has a very effective way to hunt for food. While fishing, it would tuck its head down, spreads the wings around its body, and creates a sunshade. Small fish that are looking for places to hide will be attracted to this shade, allowing the bird to snap them easily. It is also believed that this shade created by the wings allows the bird to see clearly past the surface. Simultaneously, this position creates a temporary camouflage for the bird, as all the fish see from below is a single dark mass. Hummingbirds are fascinating to watch, but the way they eat is even more fascinating. They have long tongues inside their beaks that allow them to eat up to three times their body weight every day. For a long time, these tongues were believed to act more like straws. Supported by observations, these birds seem to use capillary action, which draws liquid into cramped spaces against gravity to suck up nectar. But after a years long study of hummingbirds in the wild, has proved the theory wrong. With the help of slow motion videos, researchers discovered that hummingbird tongues open their flat tips when they reach nectar. That action creates a pump-like effect that draws nectar into a reservoir at the tip of the tongue, then squeezes the sweet stuff into the bird. This entire process is so quick that it only takes less than a tenth of a second. Finches, are usually known for eating a variety of plant seeds, nuts, or insects only, but not the vampire finch. Native to the Galapagos Islands, the vampire finch is most famous for its unusual diet. When alternative sources get scarce during dry seasons, the vampire finch would feed by drinking the blood of other birds. 
This process is done by pecking at the skin with their sharp beaks until blood is drawn. The creepiest part about this is the finches have learned to peck the skin at the base of young feathers in order to access the blood directly. Curiously, the victims do not offer much resistance against this. It has been theorized that this behavior evolved from the pecking behavior that the finch used to clean parasites from the plumage of the victims. Like other vultures, a lamagaya, or bearded vulture, is a scavenger that feeds mostly on the remains of dead animals. However, it usually disdains the actual meat and lives on a diet that is typically 90% bones. In fact, it is the only living bird species that specializes in feeding on bones. Their powerful beaks allow this bird species to bite through the bones easily. And if the bones are too large, they would carry them in flight to a great height and precisely drop them onto the rocks below to smash the bones into smaller pieces. As easy as it seems, this skill actually requires extensive practice and takes up to seven years to master. Some birds have bizarre foraging strategies that do not result from a specific adaptation, but rather their incredible intelligence and ability to adapt to human presence in their world. Among these fortunate species, the crows experienced great difficulty in feeding on ornamental tree nuts, which have a hard shell, but lack sufficient weight to break through air dropping. These clever corvids came to the ingenious solution of waiting for a red light and then walk into the crosswalk to place the nuts in the path of car tires. When the cars roll forward, the nuts would be crushed, thus allowing the crows to retrieve their meal when the light turns red again. The amount of forethought and consideration is incredible and continues to suggest that crows may in fact be the smartest of all birds. Endemic to sub-Saharan Africa, oxpeckers are the birds that can be seen perching on large mammals. They would feed on dead skin, ticks, and other parasites. However, research suggests that these birds are not very effective in removing the parasites, but one less tick is always a good thing. At the same time, these birds provide lookouts for their large animal companions as they are able to spot any approaching dangers quickly. Truly a beautiful relationship, you might think, but there's a twist to this. If there is a wound on these animals, the oxpeckers would peck at it without any mercy. They would feed on the flesh and drink the blood of their perches violently. In fact, these birds would keep doing this to make sure the wounds remain open and keep the blood flowing. Despite its small stature, the behaviors of a loggerhead shrike reflect those of a raptor. The edge of the bird's hooked bill features a pair of pointy projections called tomial teeth. When hunting, it tackles its prey with a precise attack to the nape and uses the teeth to paralyze the animal with a jab to the spinal cord. After securing the hunt, the bird would carry the prize to a place with sharp objects such as thorns or barbed wire fences. Such small, innocent-looking bird would impale the prize of its hunting on these items brutally. It is done so the prey stays still, enabling the bird to feast on it peacefully.